Polycade. Polycade. We're going to talk about Polycade here in a minute. What is it? Why is it? And is it something you should be interested in? Or at least my journey with Polycade begins with Leagues Online. I noticed they had a section of their website, which I'm going to scroll down where all their forums are, were different challenges. They have the iArcade, Arcade 1UP. These are different high score challenges and, and things you can participate with others in play. It's, it's, notice here, I noticed this one up here, Polycade. And I'm like, hey, what's the Polycade? So I clicked on it. I, I hadn't heard about it. And then look at that picture. This kind of like futuristic. Um, and they're doing a, a March monthly challenge. Like, what is the March monthly challenge they have? Oh, it's on Missile Command. Atari. Polycade. <laughs> and it looks like you got a video here. I don't know if this will play. But, I mean, look, they're showing a few seconds. There's Tyler Bushnell. Look at it. Yeah, you're going, who's Tyler Bushnell? What the, who is that guy? Well, Tyler Bushnell is the son of Nolan Bushnell of Atari. Okay, look, let's a good place to stop there on Asteroids. Because one of my favorite games, Asteroids. And, okay, here we are. Polycade has Asteroids. So I just, you know, first of all, I went to Polycade, the, web, the main website. When you first get to polycade.com, you scroll down. You see this device here. I, I, I went with my cursor there. Um... Is it a desktop? You know, I'm kind of, I saw that cool futuristic thing and I'm like, okay, what is this? Um, okay, ease of use, unified library for all your games, commercial and residential uses. Hey, what is this thing? And then the price. Oh, you know, I'm getting the game pad. Okay, 39 bucks. I'm kind of there. But what is this? $49.99 for this thing, this wallcade? And then with the stand, it's a thousand dollars. My I arcade stand was fifty bucks. Doesn't even the ridiculousness of Polycade doesn't even start here. Let's go. Let's go look at um, special editions. <laughs> look at this bad boy, Robbie the Robo, uh, the Polycade Woodad, I guess the Chromecade. But this is the this is the daddy of all daddies here. Um, just say this along with me. Goldfinger. We went Shirley Bassey's. I mean, what on earth is anyway? I show you this only for the humor aspect because we sometimes do humor. This is entertainment, uh, uh, not just information here. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no pricing of the gold. No idea. That robot Kate is kind of interesting. Anyway, I, I basically I'm checked out. I'm like, what the heck are these guys doing? What is what is Gunther and No Quarter and, and Leagues on Nine? What are they doing with Polycade? You know, what what is that? Because I'm not having anything to do with this. But then if you go back to that homepage, right? Let's go back to the homepage. Download our free software. Hmm. So that kind of piqued my curiosity. I'm like, okay, what is the free software? Um, and you know, no arcade, make it yours. Okay, you can do this on your own laptop, completely free. Um, what are the system requirements? Kind of wanted to check out that. I said, well, let me learn some more about this um, software. So I have that page here. Let's go back up to get your game on, retro and classic titles together. Um, so basically what they're doing is they're, they're, they're bringing all of your stuff here. As you can see, like the GOG.com, Steam, Ichigo, uh, also ROMs. Wait, I am going to show you poly, the Polycade software running and what it's all about because you can't see this patches thing. I don't know how excited I am about patches. It seems like a bowling thing actually. But uh, what do I have on the system? I have a t Asteroids. There it is. Let's click on it. And these are the leaderboards for Asteroids. So, um, you know, you see there's a little bit of a pause there that it, where it's thinking about running. Um, and look, two days ago, I got the high score. 
on Asteroids. Since I'm not logged in now, if I play this, it's not going to. But when you click play, goes in. Now we have the, the bezel in there. So I can now play. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to play a, a whole game. Just giving you sort of an idea on this. Um, I kind of prefer to play Asteroids with... Um, with my uh, with the button setup versus a, a controller, but yes, you can play Asteroids this way. It is very functional. When you want to get out, you just press the 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 uh, Xbox button, and you return. You can either return to game or you can exit to game, and you're done. Um, and well, all you're seeing right now is I have a Turbo Graphics game called Devil Crush. This is an actual ROM. I own this game. State will be saved. Uh, we'll find out momentarily. This should be my last jump. Maybe not. Yeah, it's the last jump. There we go. All right, so I'm going to enter my initials now because I got the Tropical Angel high score for the MAME arcade. Um, I have already had the game on iArcade, and I have the high score currently as of this screen. Um, I have another video for those that are interested in learning more about this game. But I just wanted to show that I have this game. I've also wanted to play it on the Polygame and uh, see want to see how that would. So now I'm going to get out of here. Exit the game. We'll see if state. Look at that. Yes, I do. Oh, I did want to save it, and it didn't give me time. What? <laughs> it didn't give me time to save. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. Woo! Do you want to log in and save your score? Interesting. I have never seen this screen before. So, here we are. Yeah. Scan the code. Okay. I want to save. I want to save my high score. That's a new one. That's kind of cool. So, how do I do that? Um, I'm going to take my picture of my, my screen gonna do the this qr code is not as smooth as at games by the way um and you can't see it here but you got to enter your email address and then it sends you another code or a link that you click on it's a sloppy qr code it's early i'm sure they're going to work on it but it's going to be one of my feedbacks to them that uh it's it's a sloppy implementation they should check out at games because it's much much better um oh i gotta put my password in I'm going to do that. Of course, I don't have an easy password. So, okay. I just put it in. Uh, I'm logged in now. You can see down there, Todd Todd Russell is logged in. Let's see what happens. Did, my, did it actually save my score? Hey, look at that. Tropical Angel now has a high score. Didn't have the high score leaderboard before. Very, very cool. I'm excited by that. So your arcade ROMs now have, and I'm in the world, I have the world record for Tropical Angel on the arcade ROM through Polycade. Missile Command Recharge is my Steam game. So the only game, I want to show you the store. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. Their store, the Polycade store is a little weak. Um, let's be honest. This is all they have in there right now. Um, yes, they have Atari. Which, I mean, iArcade has 300 games now. They don't have Atari. Polycade has Atari. Look, they got Black Widow. What's the price there? $2.99. It's not terrible. Um, uh, Bust a Move at $4.99. Their Crystal Castles, $2.99. Um, these are all ones you could buy. Gravatar, also $2.99. I think I paid $3.99 for Asteroids. What does Asteroids charge up here? Let's go back up to the top here. What? Where is Asteroids? Maybe because it's I've already bought it. It's not showing. Maybe that's the scenario. Once you buy it, it disappears from the store as an option. Could be. Because I actually paid. It was $3.99 when I bought it. This is the NBA Jam. I think this is the N64 NBA Jam 2000. It's not the arcade version. Um, and that is $5.99. This one here, NBA Jam, what is that, 99? Let's take a look here. NBA Jam, this is the Nintendo 64 version. Um, 
I don't know what I'm doing. I just hit, okay, I went back. Um, NBA Jam is the Nintendo 64 version as well for five ninety nine. Um, so this is their store, and I'm assuming, of course, all leaderboards are going to work for all of these. Ollie Ollie, fun skateboard game, twelve ninety nine. Um, their prices are pretty good, really, for some of these things, and and other things, eh, you know. But this is it. This is all the games they have. They don't. I mean, how many is that? Um, I think we should go to Discord now. This is a good moment to go to Discord. This is the Discord. The Polycade Discord. Look at there. Somebody's making a, a cabinet, a Polycade cabinet, probably using the downloadable software, which you could certainly do. Create your own controller. You can make your own Polycade, Wallcade, whatever you want to do. And I'm actually kind of thinking about it because the idea is kind of cool of having leaderboards on every um, arcade. I know uh, At Games sort of does it now, so it's one of those, you know. Um, but if your favorite arcade games, you could have that a functionality with. It's kind of cool, cool idea to me. So um, it's something I'm thinking about. Um, but uh, here's their, I wanted to show you the release schedule. And Tyler Bushnell actually responded to me in Discord. So he's active, um, active with bug reports. Jake is his partner. He's active as well. But I want to show you this. this these are, look, so uh, 4 1, April 1st, they did a re they did an update. Uh, March 23rd, March 11th, um, March 7th. So they're continuing to do updates. So something to think about. So anyway, there's our, our long and storied journey um, with Polycade. And I whether or not you are interested in Polycade, I don't know if you want to check it out. But look, the price is zero. You don't have to go in and buy asteroids like I did. If you want to compete on the leaderboard score with that, then yeah, it's going to cost you four bucks. For me, I bought Asteroids so many times. Yeah. Tell me what you think of the Polycade. Waste of time? Free? Hey, it's free. Obviously, it's it's a... <laughs> I don't know. If you own a Lux or a, or a Squadcade at $6,000, hey, hit me in the comments and tell me what you think of it. I'm not dissing those that... I mean, it looks like more of a luxury purchase. Sure looks, the powder-coated steel looks like a beautiful unit. Hey, um, man, if you got that gold cade, I really want to hear from you. I do.